Are you in the market for new step bars for your vehicle or just looking to add some accessibility to your ride? Well, look no further than DZ's Oval Step Bars. Stay tuned to learn more. Hello and welcome to In The Garage. I'm Steven Fielders, your host. Today we're going to be covering some oval step bars from DZ and we're going to be installing these on a Ram 3500, it's a 2016 edition. And with DZ we actually have Doug Vinzan. How you doing Doug? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Yes sir. So tell us a little bit about the product, the brackets, what comes in the packaging and the tools we're going to need to do the installation. Yeah. Um, our bracket kits, um, they're all universal fit for the application. So whether you have regular cab, extended cab, crew cab, you just need one bracket kit for all sets. Oh. Uh, NRT powder coated steel. No drill installation, only takes two tools to install those, a 7 16 inch wrench and a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. All right, so now let's get this unboxed and show you what the product looks like. All right, so Doug, we have the product unboxed now. Tell us a little bit about what we have here. This is our 6 inch stainless steel Nerf bar, large 6 inch stepping area. It's made out of 304, 304 stainless steel, manufactured right there in Des Moines, Iowa. Okay. On the reverse side. It's slotted for each bracket for installation, so the customer can move that up on the cab, back of the cab, in and out from the cab, depending on what they want to do with it. Other finishes we have available in our six inch ovals include a 14 gauge steel with a texture black finish that includes NRT powder coat, a polished bright tread aluminum six inch oval step, and a texture black aluminum oval step. All right guys, so with that said, let's get this installed on the truck. So Doug, tell us a little bit about what we're doing right now. What I'm doing is tighten up the nut zerts that actually is what the brackets will bolt onto. Tighten these up to 40 pounds of torque. Trim set nut zert around the pre-existing holes in the truck. All right guys, so we have the brackets installed as you can see already. So Doug, what's the next step? Uh, I see you're prepping the, the, the bars here for something, so what, what's next? Yep, we need to put the U-clips on the back side of the bars to, so you have uh, something to attach the brackets to. Okay. So since we're doing the crew cab, we got three different sets here. Easy enough. Snaps right in. And we're ready to mount them up. All right, so we brought the bars over and laid them on the brackets. What's the next step, Doug? Last thing to do is once you got this adjusted in place where you want it, just take two bolts to each bracket and tighten it down. All right, guys, so of course the step looks great. Let's go ahead and do the same for the other side. All right, so we have the bars installed now, as you can see. They really do look great and complement the truck and really do it justice. Thanks again for coming in today, Doug. Thanks for having us. Yes, sir. It's been a pleasure. pleasure to be here. Guys at home, if you have more details on this product, please check the description below. We'll have all that information laid up there below, as well as a part number and a dealer locator, so you can find this product at a dealer near you. Thank you again for tuning in. This has been Performance Corner in the Garage. <laughs>